Meta has recently launched Code Llama, which is a fine-tuned version of Llama 2. And with Code Llama, they have released three different versions of Code Llama. So we are going to see in this video how you can download and load the model in your own laptop and how to infer or how to run the Code Llama on your own laptop or PC. So let's start the video. So I'm going to divide this video into step-by-step -step instructions so that you can easily follow it. We are going to see how to install a valid environment or UI so that you can load the model. Then we are going to see how you can download the model and then we are going to place the model in a valid directory, load the model and infer from it. So let's proceed with the step 1 which is downloading a valid environment or UI for loading our model. For UI we are going to use a text generation web UI from Uberbooga. So in the below description of this video you are going to get a github link to this particular repository. You can click on it and it will going to take you over here. Now there are other ways of loading the model like you can do that by using Langchain by Llama CPP. There are tons of ways doing that but this is the easiest one I am showing to you. In the following videos we might see that also. For installation you can come below over here to the installation page. You can get the one click installer from over here. So in my case I am using macOS so I will going to click on that. And it is going to download a zip file and in the zip file there will be a start macOS.sh. Now as the instruction says that they are saying just double click the start. So in my case it is start macOS. So I'll have to double click on that but it's not going to work like that. You'll have to open the terminal, go to the directory wherever it downloaded it. So in my case it's inside downloads then over Google. Then if I ls then I'm going to see my start macOS.sh. Just say sh and paste that start macOS.sh and hit enter. So it is going to download all the code and UI stuff in the behind, behind the scenes and basically install it. So you can follow this one click installer if you are not into very tech stuff so this is it now i'm going to show you how you can manually install if you have like a lot of dependencies already installed manual installation is pretty fun and easy as well it's not that much difficult you will have to install miniconda in my case i have already installed it so i'm going to open the terminal so you just have to do is just copy these both lines and paste in your terminal over here now i don't want to create a new environment so i'll just skip it now for installing the PyTorch you can copy the valid command from here and just paste it over here and it is going to download PyTorch for you but mine is already installed. Then later on it is going to show you how to install the web UI. Just git clone this particular repository. So now I would recommend you to navigate to the directory wherever you want to install it. So in my case it will be inside documents, development, then I am going to make a new directory yt web ui and navigate to yt web ui and just paste the link over here and it's going to download the code in that particular directory now if you ls you are going to see a new folder just say cd to the new folder and now if you say ls you will going to have a requirements.txt now what you have to do you just have to say pip install dash r requirements.txt and hit enter it's going to download all the requirements for your laptop or pc whatever you are using and once all the requirements are installed you can clear the screen you'll have to install llama cpp python now they are recommending you to uninstall the llama cpp python so we'll just do it and they are uh, recommending us to install a uh, specific to our laptop so in my case i'm using mac m1 which is metal supported so i'm going to navigate below and i'm going to copy the installation for mps which is llama metal on so i'll just copy it and paste the command over here and it's going to download llama cpp for my laptop with metal support once the llama cpp python is installed you are good to go now the command you have to run which will be related to server.py you have to say python server.py and hit enter and it's going to open a new ui on your screen now hold down control key and click on this link and open and it's going to open it in your favorite browser or whatever browser you are using by default. Now this is this was like how you can download the particular environment for running the code llama. Now we need to download the code llama. So let's just go back to our terminal, stop the UI. Now let's proceed to step two, which is downloading a valid code llama model. Now for inference, it is mostly recommended and I would also recommend you download the quantized version for inferencing. One thing is that they are small, they can run on CPU as well, the GGML implementation of the quantized models so they can run on CPU as well, you don't need any GPU for running them, they require less memory, less space, so they are just 
terms of advantages you just have to sacrifice little bit of accuracy but again with these advantages one can sacrifice that now for downloading the model the popular user you might have heard of which is the block so i'll just leave a link to his profile in down description you can expand the models or you can probably directly search on google so the model we are going to download which will be code llama ggml instruct 7 billion and hit enter and also don't forget to mention the block and you're going to get the model over here go to the file send version and you can download any model from here like i'm interested in downloading the three bit quantized model so just click on that and click on download and the downloading will going to start now once the download is completed you will have to place the model in the right directory you can enter the command in your terminal like open dot and it is going to open the folder wherever you have downloaded the web ui or you can open it manually now you have to navigate to the models and you have to paste the downloaded model in this particular directory as you can see i already have some models for instruct for python and i have llama 27 billion chat version as well now once you have done that you are good to go finally let's navigate to our step 3 which is inferencing from code llama which is the exciting part now you have to say again for running the server you have to say python server.py and hit enter and here we are in our ui go to the model and in the scroll down section let me just zoom it a little bit in the scroll down section you can select the model which we have recently downloaded which is code llama instruct click on it click on load uh, for now we are getting a little bit problem here i don't know just it was working totally fine just yesterday Let's just try to resolve it. Maybe you could also get this error. And so we got the issue and it is already closed. And I guess it might be related to the version. Okay, so as you can read from the issues section that it is related to that model was compiled by, by using previous version. But it is recommended to use ggml v3 for now. But uh, you can try it out. You can download this model. Uh, actually, I am using the older model. The model which I have downloaded back to three days, but it was working fine. So it might be related to a uh, version issues. So in order to resolve that, you know, if I show you the requirements.txt, you can see that it is recommended to install 0.1.78. So we are going to do the same. So we will again run the same command, which is cmake dlama metal on for cmake equal to one pip install. But this time we are going to say dash dash upgrade and we are going to install the 0.1.78 version okay let's again start our server and hopefully it should resolve the issue let's restart our ui go to the model and let's select our model and click on load and we have our model successfully loaded so it was version issue uh, version dependency issue now let's get back to the inferencing part so you for inferencing you have basically three buttons over here for you can do the chat type inference the default and the notebook the most one I like it is the default one because you have just access to totally blank sheet over here. Now go to the prompt below and select none from here. Now if you want to infer from a particular model you will have to follow a particular standard in order to send the query to the model for inference. So that standard should follow the data on which the model has been trained. So according to code llama or llama v2 I was reading their blog they say the standard should be like this. So while I was reading this blog from the official on the Hugging Face website, I can leave the link to this blog in down description. You can read it out. It is very useful. So they say that there should be an instruction, then system prompt, then there should be a user message and it should end over here. So we can just follow the same procedure over here as well. So uh, for the system prompt while from where we have downloaded the model from the bloke. So uh, it has provided this very beautifully written instruction which is system prompt so i'll just replace my system system prompt with this and now for the user message let's say i wanted to write python function to print the fibonacci series let's click on generate and let's just hope that it write the right code okay so it is done writing the code and here you can see that uh, it has written pretty decent logic i mean the, the logic which has to be but uh, here's the problem that uh, it is not having knowledge of indentation so there are just tons of error over here um also don't just keep that in mind that we are using a 7 billion instruct model which is again quantized model so the result would have been better if you have larger model like 13 billion or maybe much larger than that i will leave the link to this format 
or maybe uh, to this blog and I will also copy this particular description in down description you can copy it out and test now let's just try to follow this particular instruction so let's see if we get any better result or not I'll just replace it with that and for adding the prompt I'll just say write python now this time I'm just going to ask it to scrape all the tables um, let's click on generate and hopefully it should generate I'll just stop it over here because it just got a wrong understanding I should have given like write python function to scrape all the tables from the given URL let's hit on generate uh, this is wrong I don't think like this this could happen like that I could give it a hint like using bs4 probably so far looks good yeah it has written a pretty like obvious code uh, obviously it is not pretty obviously it is not that powerful in writing the code again we are using 7 billion to quantize model just use a proper model if you want to make proper inferencing um, while I was using it uh, it was pretty slow so I was just uh, you know going through the issues section in order to resolve the speed issue the one I got uh, in order to solve if you are on Mac you can go back to your model and increase the thread value to 4 if you are on M1 or M2 um, you can just search for it or read it out if you are on AMD you could have like some other issue like I was going through the installation once again and there was for AMD user and you know if I just if you just open it in new you will going to get something useful anyways just I don't want to stick to it any longer the purpose of this video is over to show you how to install the UI how to download the model how to load the model and how to infer from it you can use some bigger model if you want proper result so this is it for this video I guess you should be able to understand something new today and basically it is not only about code llama you can download literally any model from the bloke either it is ggml format or gptq format or maybe gguf format you can just download any model place it in the models directory select it from here load the model and just you're good to go also uh you can download the model from here as well you just have you know just for example i want to download this model you'll have to copy this thing over here go back to your UI paste it over here and hit download it is going to download the model for you you can already see the download is started I'm going to stop it so I'll end this video over here if you enjoyed it make sure to like the video to subscribe the channel as well goodbye